evening, ladies, as well as gentlemen. Papa Boris here with some more Hearthstone Arena. I'm playing a priest deck that I didn't like after drafting it, and I said it was mediocre, so I promptly went up to 3-0, and as can be expected. Uh, the one difference between this deck and the warrior deck I finished in the last video, which I really, really didn't like, is that uh, that deck had just way too many spells, and so this deck at least has tons of minions, and most of them are high quality, just missing removal. I think, though, uh, my, my, one of my longest time and most devoted commenters pointed out a lot of misplays I made in the Warrior run, so perhaps if I'd played better, I actually would have been in better shape. Now, this is a very uncomfortable hand. Um, if I were second, I'd probably keep everything, but here, I'll mulligan that guy. I want to keep the Mad Bomber because if it's ever going to be playable, it would be early on when it has, like, a, you know, some percent chance of killing a two-drop, and then the Berserker I could play after that. But um, three two drops would be a bit much. I would just not have anything good to do for a while. Okay, so let's see if he's going to play a one drop of some kind, maybe. Maybe drop a nice leper gnome down here for me to kill. Zombie. Ah, zombie chow. God, I swear to God, everybody gets this against me early on. I'm still going to play the mad bomber, even though the odds of killing the chow are extremely small. Um, because, yes, it's an advantage to him to trade a one drop for a two drop. But, I mean, I might as well just do it. There's no better option for me right now. Now he gets to play a 2-drop. Hopefully he's just going to shapeshift. That would be really nice, because all I have to respond to his 2-drop is a 2-drop, which isn't that great. Oh, not happening. Plays the Stalker. So it's getting a little dicey here. He's going to get to kill my Berserker if he wants to use shapeshift. Cult Master. Gosh, that Cult Master not being super great here so far. Do have a Yeti next turn, which is pretty good. Druids have a tough time with that. But then I've got Jack, Squat, and Diddly. This is not a good draw for this deck. Let's see if he has got something better to do or if he's going to kill this. Either way, it's kind of a lose-lose situation. If he plays a 3-drop, I can't respond to it. If he... I mean, I can do a Yeti, I guess, in response to it. But I don't get to, like, kill it. If he kills this, then I play a Yeti, and then I just have to pray. So basically, I'm just praying that he can't get rid of this Yeti. Because I've got nothing else for a good long while after that. Oh, very awkward stuff. Though mind control is good against druids, it's an eternity away from being played. Okay, what's he gonna do here? Noyatron is an interesting reply to Berserker. Looks like he's gonna do that and coin shapeshift to kill the Berserker. Okay, well, yeah, it's pretty good for him. Noyatron's a really good response to Yeti without Shadow Word Pain, which I never saw in this draft. Um, I don't get to kill this thing. Oh my god, he actually uh, lost this stalker for no reason. Well, we're lucky at 3-0, still getting very basic noob-level mistakes. Basically, he could have taken three extra damage to have kept his Stalker. I mean, that's worth it, right? Wouldn't you have rather have 24 health and a 2-1 than 27 health and nothing? So he messed up. He should have um, hit it with his Stalker first and then shapeshifted. So that was a really, really weird mistake I wouldn't expect to see at 3-0. But anyway, I can't complain. I'm still in a rough state here because I'm going to have to pound this yeti against the Anoyatron at least twice. It will take me up a card when I finish that, but I mean, he pretty much has free reign of the situation right here. I, all I can do next turn is Thought Steal. Alright, the Shredder is a pretty good card, of course. Mind Vision. Well, let's Thought Steal first. These are not bad cards. We'll hit this and um, heal. It is worth healing because if I didn't heal this, he could just throw the Shredder at it. This way, he's got to spend some mana to shapeshift to finish the Eddie off or play some sort of a buff. I'm very far behind here. I've got this stuff that I can't get out anytime soon. I can play like one creature at a time. So I can play the Senjin next turn. Yeah, he's going to have to have a pretty bad hand in order to fall back. He's already helped me out by throwing away a Stalker for no reason, but he's going to need to help me out a little bit more with some pretty bad draws in order for me to be able to catch up. All right, there's another Powder Treader, which is a little bit disconcerting, to be certain. But I mean, it could have been worse, so I'll take it. North Shark Cleric is very interesting, so I could run in, North Shark Cleric heal. Problem is, I don't need cards right now, I need board presence, so what I'm going to do is actually play this engine, hit this, and just heal that up. If I had an extra mana, sure, I would have played the North Shark, gotten a card, but the cards are not the problem. I want my stuff to be at full health. So he has to work as hard as possible to get board advantage. Okay, so this is really, really bad because now he can kill the Yeti and this engine. Well, uh, I couldn't have expected him to like have nothing forever. 
And he gets a really good two drop too, Jesus. Well, anyway, it's, it's pretty much to be expected. There was just no way I was gonna do all this game without some amazingly bad luck on his part. Alright, Kabal Shadow Priest is admittedly helpful. Really, really helpful. Um, let's mind vision first. You should always draw cards first. We got a Sludge Belcher, which is pretty good, but not as good as this. Um, I sure as hell don't mind stealing a 2-3 and getting a Chillwind Yeti in the deal. He's gonna get to kill it with his Shredder, get a 2-drop back, but, I mean, this is holding the fort for me here. Until maybe I, if I can survive three more turns. Basically, I've gotta play two turns without mind control, so if I can hold on, I might be able to steal a big tree. And it's really good when you're a priest to be the first player in the end game, because um, mind control is significantly worse if you're the second player. Like if the person hits level nine or hits nine mana first and plays something really expensive, and you're responding with your level nine play, it's much better to have already had your ninth turn. Then they have his ninth turn, and then you have ten turn turn ten is mind control. Um, so here probably gonna drop slime belcher next turn. Cult master is really really bad. But if the culture belt, the slime belcher actually lives, I actually sludge slime belcher, sludge belcher actually lives. I could be okay, because um, if if the ta the little slime is still around, I can maybe find some room to play that. This is call master. I was gonna shoot that down. Well, that's bad. But on the other hand, this stuff is all pretty weak. Holy Nova would actually get me right back in this game. Oh my God. Nope, not a chance. So goblin sapper is terrible. We're gonna play the belcher of sludge. Actually, is it terrible? Against his board, it's actually the right thing, isn't it? Because it kills off all these 2-2s. Two Alright, I've got to survive one more turn without mind control. Shame that I didn't have Holy Nova. That would have won me the game. It would have just wiped him out completely. Alright, he's going to silence the Sludge Belcher, which is okay because it is still a 3-5. Not the end of the world. Oh my god, that's bad. Ah, oh, that's really bad. Ah, oh, man. That sucks. Okay, so Holy Nova actually could still catch me back up in this game. Like, it still could just... I mean, it's, it's going to get rid of all the Divine Shields, kill most of his creatures. Got to get Holy Nova. Here it is, top deck. Not a Holy Nova. Well, um... Yeah, you got to do what you got to do. Fish for Holy Nova. Balance chosen. Ah, oh, that's not going to do it. Wait, can I... Play? Yep. Got to fish for Holy Nova. It's the only thing that matters here. Uh, I guess we'll kill this. Play this, heal it. Holy Nova is the only thing that matters. Didn't get it. Okay, well, um, I lose. Yeah, I mean, he's just gonna kill me. No taunt or anything like that. So that's that. Oh man, that's a frustrating game. Uh, I, I mean, I shouldn't be surprised to lose because this deck isn't that great, but man, if I had had just gotten Holy Nova, I would have been totally fine. He did end up having a really wicked turn with, you know, all those minions and the Enhanced Mechano, but I mean, he, he was bound to have something at some point. He gave me a couple of turns of a free pass. So the Defender of Argus was really strong, and Handsome McKenna was really strong. He just uh, had good cards. S even even the Silencer to get past the Taunt was actually, ended up being really good. Nate King. Ah, oh, that name seems familiar. Uh, okay, we got uh, our starting cards here. Do you actually keep the Mind Vision? I mean, it's just a cycling thing. I, I think it's better just to pass it. If I didn't have a turn one play, sure, but I might as well pass it and try to get a two drop. Or some protection for the Northshire. Oh god, mind control again. Uh, uh, okay, well, Lothab comes back. I have nothing to do on turn two. Gonna play the Cleric. Sure, you might say if he plays a three two and then this thing just dies, it's sad. But, I mean, a lot of times people have, like, one toughness crap that they don't want to play against the Northshire, so it's worth throwing it out there. This is a coin. So he looks like he is playing out a 3-2 to try to kill this. Unless I get Power Word Shield or something else, I think I'm pretty screwed. Ah, oh, crap. I don't have Holy Smite, don't have Shadow Word Pain. I think I'm just fucked here, unless I get Power Word Shield. Nope, I got that thing. Well, this sucks because what's going to happen is he gets to kill this, and then he also gets to kill that. So he just straight up has a 2 for 1 against me. The mana cost for Spider Tank doesn't actually matter. I doubt I'm going to have one mana left over anyways. Ah, oh, this is really bad. Mind. Oh, oh, here we go! I do actually get to use that extra mana. Wind Fury. Oh, Wind Fury Harpy. Oh, my lord. That is not good. So, I mean, I guess it's a crappy card. We both have one, so whichever one of us is likely to be in the lead at, on turn six is going to have the advantage. Because this thing is it hits hard, it just sucks if you're behind. And he's the one who's going to be ahead, so this actually benefits... This is just so shitty, because it benefits him to have it. 
Um, and it doesn't benefit me at all. Alright, well, one in three odds of killing off his abusive sergeant actually land them. Well, that's lucky. So... North Shark Cleric dealing a damage there and dying to Knife Juggler ended up mattering a little bit because at least it gave me an opportunity to kill his guy. Got a shade here. Alright, so, okay, with that dying, I'm actually okay because I can play this thing now. And I am the first player, so that's another advantage, I suppose, is I get to play my Harpy first. So if he doesn't have a good 5-drop here, I play this. It's actually a bit difficult for him to kill. I got a Tiger. Alright, well, that will actually kill the Harpy. No Probalo. He keeps everything stealthy. Um, there's... Is there really any point to playing this Harpy right now? It dies to the Tiger just like the Yeti does, but what am I doing with my mana if I don't play the Harpy? I might as well get the more expensive Yeti out of my hand to have it die so that in the future I can play the Yeti and like something else like the Sapper. Well, I'm desperately behind right now. This is a very bad turn of events for me. Spawn, so everything will kill Lothab. Lothab is just not being super impressive here. Tiger gets healed. Oh, God. This is very disgusting. Holy Nova. Hmm. Is that worth it? So what I could do is I could Holy Nova... Will not kill the tiger, but it will damage this to the point where I can hit it with Lothab and Lothab lives. Is that worth it? I'm not sure it actually is. Yeah, just get my extra creatures down. So this thing got to sit around for a while, get nice and big. I might be able to mind control it, but again, mind control is a little bit far away here. He actually has a wind free harpy, which is going to pound the ever loving bejesus out of me. Plays a War Golem. Well, I don't have any Shadow Word Death, and Mind Control is too long away. Might have to Holy Nova just to kill off two of his creatures, because I have nothing better to do. It stopped me from being able to play the mechanic, which sucks, but that's life. Man, a freaking live. So this thing is going to hurt a lot. He cannot play Mind Control yet. He's going to hit me for 15 damage next turn. Good lord. Well, it's chosen. Um, one of the few times this really doesn't do me very much good. Uh, I could make this a four, four, no. It's a four, five, a four, five. And then I'll kill it with the war golem. This could be a four, eight. I think we got to put it on this, sad as it is. Uh, we'll just trade one for one with the Harpy, or you can get a bonus damage in the War Golem and kill it. Oh man, I needed to win that last game. That was the window. Now we're just falling to pieces here. So Mind Control comes in line a turn too late. The Golem is going to be mostly damaged. Unless he heals it up for me kindly. Oh no, that's bad. Getting a taste of my own medicine here. Ouch, that's really bad okay so I get hit super hard uh, I could steal the golem but then he's got 8 10 11 damage maybe yeah gotta do it I guess so this is 8 plus 2 is 10 he heals himself and has a 50 50 chance of dealing an 11th point of damage which is guaranteed if he has a shadow word death to kill the war golem any buff on the Harpy wins in the game on the spot. And that doesn't quite win it yet. He draws a card. Well, he's not killing the War Golem. Maybe he was thinking to use the other attack of the Harpy to kill the Golem if the Golem had gotten damaged. So now he decides against it. I'm down to one health. He's got a bunch of crap. I have no outs. Ball Priest. Oh, do I have an out? Oh, my gosh. Um, okay. Let's think about this very carefully. If I steal this thing and kill that thing and heal myself... He can hit me down to one and then heal himself and hope for a coin flip. One in four odds. 
Uh, if I kill the harpy, so I have to kill the harpy. That's just happening for sure. And I have to heal myself. That's happening for sure. I oh my god, that's oh that's silly. I should I should have stolen this. Whoops. I didn't really I forgot about that thing. Oops, that's silly. Um, so I should have stolen this so that I could heal without it killing my golem off, and then just taking the chance with the demolisher. Crap. Well, um. Oh, okay. Cabal Priest came up in both games, just I was too far behind. So now he just... Yeah, he probably just wins. Yep, he wins. So he was going to win no matter what. Well, no, he wasn't going to win no matter what. He could have maybe missed with the Demolisher and then would have only gotten me down to one hit point. But then I would have had a Stormwind Champion to deal with. Yeah, it, it was bad. Okay, so we go up to 3-0 in the last video. Start up a new video, promptly lose two games. This deck's just not good. I said it. I had some good games and then proceeded to die because I can't get any removal to save my life. Also, that opening was kind of shitty that he had a 3-2 to respond to the North Star Cleric. And the Druid was kind of shitty that he had the Defender of Argus. But this deck is just really fragile to good plays. Like, one good play topples it over if I don't get my Holy Nova. Okay, well, let's see who our next opponent is. Hopefully in the loser's bracket, deep in the loser's bracket. Now we can find a, an easy win. Shit is the warrior. Typically, I like being a priest versus warrior because your hero ability is just basically strictly better, with very few exceptions. We actually get the zombie tower, which I forgot was in this deck, so that's nice. Turn one, turn two, turn three. Oh my god. We have things to play. It's almost like I drafted a proper curve or something with this deck. All right. Argent Squire, uh, Zombie Child holds up really well against that, so does Money Berserker. I'm not gonna play the Money Berserker yet, there's no need to throw away the coin for that, that's a bit aggressive. Right, so I'm sure he's very annoyed to see this, just as I've been annoyed seeing it lately. Fiery War Axe would actually be really good here. Oh my god, Abusive Sergeant. That's two abusive sergeants in a row, much, I'm sure, to the happiness of at least one of my viewers. So here, um, I could do this and coin power word shield. I think I am going to do that. That's a pretty difficult, it's a pretty difficult thing to deal with. Oh, it's chosen. Probably not going to play that. That would be a little bit aggressive, considering warriors do have execute. Probably just play spider tank and wait on that Velen's chosen. This is a pretty decent thing. 2-5 is hard to take down. He needs like a fiery war axe. God, abusive sergeant. Frickin' abusive sergeant. Micro machine will die unless he has a trick here. And does he have a trick? He doesn't, so it just dies. Perfect, all right, so we're gonna kill that. And now with these two things, he can kill it. I could put Velen's Chosen on to protect it, but honestly, if he wants to use those two things to kill it, he can. I'm just gonna play the spider tank, which is a solid 3-4. And see if he's got a good answer to this or not. With a cleave, he could actually tro throw both of his creatures and clear my board. Because this takes down to one. Oh, he's got something up his sleeve. Otherwise, he wouldn't be just ignoring my creatures. I assume. Oh, no, he doesn't have anything up his sleeve. He's just bad. All right, great. So let's kill that. Uh, let me think about this. I can actually leave this alive if I want to be a little bit risky. Yeah, let's leave that thing alive. He doesn't have any creatures on the board. Let's just do this. Get some more board presence. Now we're ready for Stampeding Kodo. If I can kill pretty much anything with the Stampeding Kodo, I'm going to win this game, I think. It doesn't need to be a Gurabashi Berserker or anything fancy. Just anything. Okay, so he has a pretty good response to that. And okay, it's two pretty good responses. Warbot. All right, that's actually. Oh god, what are you doing? Inner rage. Hmm. Not sure. I really agree with that. Pyromancer. Okay, hang on. So I could do Pyromancer Valens Chosen. That would take everything down a notch. Not good enough. So let's just keep it simple here, shall we? We're gonna play Stampeding Kudo. Kill off one of his two twos. Now I could keep the 2-4, or I can, I can keep a 3-1, or a 2-2. Two, two. I guess I'd rather have a 2-2 two, two than a 3-1, so we'll do this. 
Use this, and I mean, um, he's just out of cards. He's got two cards to my six. That's definitely not good shape. It's going to be really, really difficult for him to come back. Brawl to kill one random minion is not super great. So Brawl is like an expensive deadly shot there. Doesn't get lucky, but it really doesn't matter if he's brawling in that situation. He's in a lot of trouble. I don't think I really need Thought Steel. Let's just put some minions on the board and start to pound away. Well, four wins with this deck I think is pretty good. I did say I'd be shocked if it made it to six. So considering all that, four wins is solid. Ooh, this doesn't really do anything. It dies, except die to the 2-4. That's nice. I could actually play Cult Master and throw the Pyromancer away for a card. But, um, yeah, let's Thought Steal here. Warsong Commander. Oh, I, I forgot about that. Oh, God, I totally forgot about that crap. Uh, I forgot about this. <sighs> okay. Well, uh, I guess what we'll do is just kill it like this. Fill that up. Him, hit him. Freaking Pyromancer. Oh, such a liability. Okay. Sludge Vulture. Takes a card. Okay. I think we'll use the Cult Master here. Cards. Dibbity boo, and then. I mean, it really doesn't matter. Sorry, I'm being kind of sloppy this game, but it just really doesn't make any difference. We're just burning them down. I probably could have silenced the Sludge Belcher. Uh, if he got a Deathwing, it would be a little bit tricky for me to catch back up. I'd have to get my mind control, I suppose. But, we should be okay here. Shrinkmeister, not super great. Unless I can get the Cabal Shadow Priest, in which case it's very, very good. Nope. Alrighty. Uh, so, let's just charge away here. I don't have a, I have a full board, don't I? No, I don't have a full board. I can count. All right, so let's kill this thing off. Whackity, smackity. Oh, okay, good game. Chitters. All right, let's see if I can get just a little bit lucky to make it to five wins. I think I'm probably worse here than the average four and two deck, but with a bit of luck, I could make it through. Just need a good draw, some spunk, elbow grease, and a can-do attitude, and I'll make it somewhere. Who's our next worthy opponent? Is it time for a mage? I feel like it's time for a mage. No, it's time for a warlock. Dan Aykroyd. <laughs> Who knew that he played Hearthstone? Can I be second? Oh, All right, well, I'll keep both of these just in case I, get, I don't get a three drop, but it would have been nice to be second here. Holy fire. Shows up when it's not wanted. Ah, oh, boy. Okay. Oh, another two drop. This is really bad to be first with a hand like this. Just bad all around. Can you pass a turn, please? Please, 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 please. Nope. Nope, not a chance. Please play a 3-2. Don't play a 2-3. Ah, Loot Hoarder. Okay. Well, I'll just play this. It's a generic 2-3. That's good enough to kill a Loot Hoarder. Loot Hoarder, excellent target for Cabal Shadow Priest, who's been very gregarious so far, showing up in all the games. All two of them. Well, no, two of the three, I guess. Ah, Noyatron, another great target for the Shadow Priest, but unfortunately not available right now. Let's go ahead and mind vision, because that's what I'm going to be doing. We got an. A oh my god, wow. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely do that. Clear some board here. So the Noyatron, it's, it's not card disadvantage for him because he got a card for that loot order and this thing will trade but I mean it's just better than have trying to have dealt with it honestly All right the Cobra is really annoying because I don't have any three ta 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 their power minions that these are just a couple of twos and that doesn't help at all either um, so what I'm actually gonna do is throw this owl away and then 
I just accept the fact that I've got a two for one situation. Now I'm gonna throw the zombie chow down as well. Even though I'm not using up all my mana, I don't have a way to use up my mana next turn anyway. So I might as well try to have this die as soon as possible. This actually, this Cobra is shockingly effective, because it's too early for me to steal it with the Priest, and I didn't have any 3 power minions. That's a, that's something I should really pay attention to, is making sure I have some 3-2s, and not just 2-3s all day. Because 2-3s can be really good if your opponent plays like a 2-2 two -two or a 2-1, but if you just have nothing but 2-3s and your opponent plays 3 toughness stuff, you're in trouble. Oh my god, this is bad. So he's gonna do that, and then he's gonna get some damage on my Chow. Wait, why did he hit that thing? Why, did, why not hit the Chow, have it die? And then he, this would have killed the other one. That's weird. Okay, well, anyway, we're going to go ahead and heal up. Swing. All right, now. Now I need him to give me something to steal. He's been giving me stuff to steal all game, but, of course, it was way too early. Uh, I could be in a little bit of trouble here. So Drake does not get stolen. I'm actually starting to really fall behind very badly. Don't luck out. If, if it would have hit this thing, I could have actually traded it away. I'm going to play a Mad Bomber here. Yeah. All right. Let's just hope the Mad Bomber hits at least one bomb on that Fel Cannon. All right. Can't complain too much about those bombs. Let's heal up. So I'm really falling behind on card advantage, like, really, really badly. He's got eight fucking cards. I have Mind Control and then Cabal Shadow Priest, which both help me catch up a bit. Not very much. I really need to get a good steal with this to do well. So many oh man, this isn't looking good. But if I do get a really epic steal, like a Gorobashi Berserker, I could catch up. It's just not likely. Flesh and Ghoul. Interesting that he played this before killing the Mad Bomber. Which is actually kind of a significant thing, because it lets me steal it, whereas otherwise it wouldn't have been stealable. Huh. Alright. Holy Noma wouldn't be the worst thing here. Let's Let steal this up. I'm not going to play North Track Cleric, because that would just die to the panda. The panda is needed to kill this, but he's very likely with six cards to have an alternate way of killing this thing. North Shark could be really important. If, it can, if I can get some cards off of it, I might actually have a chance in hell of catching up. Well, I'm, I'm really, really, really behind. Very, very behind. It's going to take an immense amount of luck for me to win this, but one thing that needs to happen is this, sh this priest needs to survive. Oh, shit, he's going to play Hellfire? There's nothing else that would make sense for the panda to not kill off this ghoul. Or for the infiltrator to attack the ghoul, I don't really get it. But he's got a, he's, I think he's clearing my board. Otherwise, nothing that he's doing would make any sense. Uh, I guess he's not clearing my board, he's just, yeah, he's just throwing that away. For no reason? Okay, cool. Well, I can't complain. Um, other, except for the fact that I have no shadow or death. Other than that, I don't have anything to complain about. We're going to get one card off of the Northshire. It's unfortunately, all this, this thing is going to be good for. Hit him in the face one time. Hopefully he uses the Dread Infernal to kill the Northshire. That would leave these guys alive for another round. He, uh, he replays the Drake. Yep. Now he's got spell damage. That's very scary. Uh, he didn't give me anything to kill with the Kodo. He did oblige me with that, but he's got Shadow Bolt to kill that. Ouch. Alright. Well, I can clear the board, but I'm not really making much progress. Oh! Mm. Zone's chosen on this. Does it do me good? What does it give me? A 6-6? Six, six? Oh, it's gonna then die. Actually, could I try to go for a burnout? Hang on. 6 down to 17. Down to 12. No, that's not gonna work. Um, I could just kill it. No, I need, I need to... When you're behind, take risks. This is what I have to do. I gotta do this to kill that thing. And then I need to kill this thing, even though the heal is wasted. This thing's almost certain to die, but there's still a chance I can get an epic kill with Kodo, which gives me a card advantage. And there's a chance I can steal something really good with Mind Control, which would give me card advantage. The main problem is if he plays like a pair of good four drops, like a couple of shredders or something, then I'd have nothing good to Mind Control and nothing to kill with Kodo, then I'd, then I'd lose. Okay, he silences off the Velen's Chosen, but that's not really the worst thing that could have happened. I have something at least to hit kill with the Kodo, if that's what I choose to play, rather than Mind Control. 
Cult Master. Because obviously not going to get mind controlled. I could mind control the... Hold on. I could mind control the Cult Master. And then... You have the Panther kill the owl and get a card. I don't think I'm going to do that, though. Let's just go ahead and do this. This. And as much as I hate to do this, I'm actually going to play the Spellbreaker. Because I need to get a creature on the board. So, he's got... Six cards to my three, soon to be four. He's got enough health to life tap freely. We're not going to get down to fatigue with this. If he plays a really epic minion, I could steal it with mind control. But I bet he's playing around... No, he's not playing around mind control. If he was playing around mind control, he wouldn't have played that thing. That thing's pretty big. I am going to steal this and throw one of these guys away to his second Cobra of the day. Or I could play... Bo no, not going to play Boulder for Stoker. We're just going to do this. Um... I think I'm going to lose the Kodo because I value the harder hitting over the longer lasting because I have to take risks anyway. Ogre could be really good. Let's see what he's got. He's got six cards. He needs big stuff. He needs taunt. Or removal, technically, but it's it's a bit difficult. He's had to have, like, Siphon Soul and a Shadow Bolt or a Dark Bomb or something. It's a bit specific what he needs as far as removal. Does he actually have a Siphon Soul? Ah, oh, that sucks. So that's healing, and it kills him off a huge creature. Does he actually have a really good four drop here? Succubus. Well, it's not that great, but it does kill my Spellbreaker. Balls. All right, I got to get some good cards here. I don't think I have anything that will kill this. Holy Nova shows up a little bit late. I am going to take a risk. I'm going to hit him in the face. We have to go for it. There's risks to keeping this Succubus alive. He could now play Power Overwhelming or... Just have three extra damage and kill my ogre, but I gotta take that chance. It's got the power of woman. Fuck me sideways. Shit. Wow, when you're behind, take risks. I absolutely stand by the risk I took. I think I took the right risk there, getting extra damage on him. So now, this is gonna die. Getting him down to eight, down to six. Ah, you already used holy fire. Don't have any other burn. Eh, it's gonna be risky. It's gonna be difficult to win this. Shadow boxer. I can't actually heal myself. I can heal him, but that doesn't really do me any good. Do I play Holy Nova just to get rid of these guys? I could play this and heal him, and then have a 50-50 chance of killing one of these things off. That's not, that's not worth it. Is it worth it to play Holy Nova just to kill these two things? The tiger kills that anyway. But this thing might live if these things are dead, so I have to play this. When you're behind, take risks. Can't heal the tiger because it's in stealth. So that's that. He needs to kill this. This thing, if it can hit him for two damage, that'd be really great. But I have no burn in this deck. I've already used Holy Fire. I have a Thought Steal, and I could steal his burn. That's, that's basically my strategy right now. This is a crappy minion at this point. Does he have a Defender of Argus? No, but he gives us weapons. What? Why would you do that? Why would you give random weapons when you're at six health? Holy ball sack Christ. And then he hits me to deal more. Oh my god, this is amazing. The guy, he couldn't have, he, he can't play that. He's so, so lucky that all I got was a one attack weapon. I mean, I could have killed him in two turns if this had been anything else. Don't have a mech. Um, I could do this and play two bananas to deal two damage to everything, but that doesn't really make too much sense because... Unfortunately, um, none of this stuff is going to die and this thing would actually get enraged. So I don't know what the point would be of playing those bananas. Other than to just, let's see, it would become a 5-4, he would just have to, like, kill it with the king just to get rid of it. Is there any benefit to waiting on this thing? Oh, man, I, of all the weapons in the game, I got the one that does not kill him in two turns. Well, I'm going to hang on to this. I don't know what advantage there is to holding on to it, but I'm just going to wait and see. Um, he chooses to do the death rattle, which is good. So this stuff gets a little bit more damaged. So now I can kill off at least the Berserker with the Pyromancer. And with Force Tank Max, I'm actually facing death pretty soon here. Dark Scale Healer, not bad. All right, so who do I want to put the bananas on? I could put them on this. Oh, man, I'm going to have 15 health. I'll live. No, I won't. 7 plus 5. I, uh, no, I have 15. I need to heal myself as well. So let's do what I have to do, which is I have to do this, and I have to heal myself, or I will die. And now let's play the Pyromancer. Oh, shoot. Uh, I don't have enough. Um, I can only banana once. 
ball sack. Christ. I should have healed this up. Um, I lose the game. Oh my fuck, but I kinda I could've probably well, let's just do this. Um, do that and see if he'll just, you know, be confused and not kill me. He's got twelve 15 and then 20 damage because I forgot that I wouldn't have enough mana to heal myself and do two bananas Well, anyway, I should have played this and put two bananas on it last turn lesson learned um, Then the death rattle would have killed off his berserker at least and it wouldn't have been around for that turn Fuck me sideways. I should have won that game. Yeah, the blingtron was a terrible mistake His odds of winning with that were so small and he was gonna put enough pressure on me with just the other minions That he could have still threatened lethal very quickly without risking death but I got a fucking 1-3 and lost. Oh my god, that sucks. So we got four wins instead of five wins. I doubt I could have made it to six with this deck. But that's still a frustrating way to go out. All right, 80 gold though is really good for four wins. So I'll take that, I guess. All right, we're looking for Paladin or Rogue as my last two classes that need to catch up. Got a couple of rares, but I'm really looking for epics now. Having opened about 30 packs, pretty much epics and legendaries are the only thing that matter. Looking for Paladin and Rogue here. Find it, so let's start a Rogue run. And we're starting off, oh my god, to insult me. Um, I don't think this, for a different class it seems like it'd be good, but for a Rogue? Yeah, it seems sort of shitty. I mean, your hero dagger is a 1-2, and doesn't require you to have mechs out. That, that just seems shitty. When another friendly mech dies, this seems terrible. Okay, wow. Um, I guess we're taking Patient Assassin, though. That's not the most exciting way to start things off. These are pretty junky cards, in my opinion, so we'll take the Stalker there. Conceal I've used sometimes in the arena, but I'm not going to take it over a quality 3-drop this early on. I'll take a Dwarf, which is great. Fan of Knives I love more than Cold Blood. Hmm. Let's take the Loot Hoarder for my card drawing needs. And Assassinate, you can't really pass on that. Uh, I don't like mind control tech very much, and I've taken Bloodsail Corsair over Kiza and Mystic before. I'm not going to make that mistake again. This thing wins games sometimes. Second assassinate? I boy. I mean, it could just be overkill if the opponent doesn't play enough big stuff, but I'm going to do it because there's no other removal in my deck so far. SI Agent is terrific. Mm, Shiver Bluegill Warrior. I'll stick the Bluegill Warrior because it does more damage. Backstab. I'm not going to pass on that, even though the other two cards are great. Goblin Otter Barber, I have a tortured relationship with. It's always mediocre for me, but it's won my opponent's game, so I just figure I'm not doing it enough. We'll take an Ogre to have some endgame. Uh, I prefer actually another backstab over the Deadly Poison. Just not that big a fan of Deadly Poison lately. Cold Blood can be useful, but I'm going to take Micro Machine, because that randomly wins you games. Bad buffs are better than no buffs. Uh, another card I have a tortured relationship with. I'm just going to take the Geomancer with Backstabs and Fan of Knives. Geomancer is going to be good. Another Auto Barber? Well, the Worgen, this is a throwaway card and this is crappy, so I guess we'll take it, although I don't like this two mana spike that's developing. Let's grab some card draw. Let's grab some more card draw and some higher curve stuff. Let's grab, uh, man, I feel like I'm, am I passing on too many Cold Bloods? Let's take one Cold Blood, I guess. Oh no, oh god, this is bad. I've done the multiple auto barber thing. This just, oh man. All right, we'll take the sheep so that it, I've got some board clear, I guess. But this seems like it's getting pretty crappy. Too much, too many twos. Uh, should I take a sprint or a third backstab? Hmm. You know, with the Drake and the Inventor and the Fan of Knives and the Loot Hoarder, I think I'm okay on cards. Let's take a backstab. Let's take, uh, hmm. This would be nice to have a little bit more beef in my deck. Yeah, I'm going to take that, actually. And this is an easy call for some taunt, which I've been passing on. We'll take a Stormwind Champion. I don't like the card, but here, when I need some endgame, I'll take it. And silence. All right. Oh, I'm still got one more pick. Uh, yeah, for some more board clear. Perfect. So the Blade Flurry can synergize with the Goblin Auto Barbers very nicely. I maybe, you know, would have been better off with that Deadly Poison instead of a Backstab, since I ended up getting so many more Backstabs, but it's fine. It's nice to have tons of Backstabs and increase your odds of being able to just shut down your opponent's early game. Also nice to have those combo triggers for my SI Agent. Zyru the Hunter. I think this deck is not that great. Honestly, um, we're going to keep this hand. So I'll coin into this on turn two, 
if nothing's going on, or I could coin into this if I can kill something, or if nothing's happening, I could just play this. We'll see. Got our Mystic against the Hunter opponent, so I could be stealing a secret. It is a possibility. And yeah, let's just go ahead and make a dagger and kill that spinner. Uh, I think I get a bit of extra value out of this because I can play the Auto Barber and deal two damage next turn. If he plays a 3-2 rather than a 2-3. Got my healer, which is nice. Also a little bit of endgame beef. All around, I think I'm happy with this over the Scarlet Crusader. Half scientist. Oh man. Well, that's lovely. So what we're gonna do here is kill this thing aggressively and he has no secrets okay <laughs> so either he has a secret in his hand or there are going to be no secrets for this mystic well at least i have some information i guess so that's something mm, boy do i dagger this thing i don't think i do i think i'm just going to pass like I always say, I'm not a big fan of throwing away minions if you're not going to kill the thing you're hitting. So let's just pass and wait. I could have made a dagger and killed this, but that seemed a little bit aggressive. And would have let me make get, get behind on the board. So, do you want to play a secret? No, you do not want to play a secret. Okay, fair enough. Hmm, can I get a combo for the agent? I can't. Damn. All right. Well, let's just uh, do what we can. Play the dwarf. Buff that up. Kill that. Had I actually run the auto barber into that bear, I would have been in much better shape, I think. No, I wouldn't have, because then I wouldn't have had any minions. Never mind. Scratch that. Okay. So there's the yeti, king of beasts. All right. So, finally, I can trigger back uh, a combo on this. Let's think about this. Uh, if I dagger up, I can't really do anything. All right, we'll do backstab. <laughs> this guy's toast. Uh, it doesn't matter. Let's hit this. If I might get the plus one attack thing. In that case, I don't have to use my dagger. Oh, plus one health. Hey, that helps. That helps so we'll do that and I could run in or I could just leave it alone I'm just gonna leave it alone because there's a chance I'm gonna use a dagger plus blade flurry next turn depending on what he plays and if he runs into me without killing me I can heal up my creature and then kill him off to great effect web spinner doesn't really matter could die to blade flurry spender of Argus that does matter because it's gonna kill my thing uh, lame. All right, so this is actually really handy here. So we're gonna do the auto barber blade flurry combo. And kill that off as well. I didn't attack with my thing because the stuff had taunt and I didn't want to hit his taunts with my weapon because they were dying to blade flurry anyway. All right, good auto barber, you've been good this game. So he's got six cards to my five, soon to be six. And uh, health wise, I'm doing okay, which is good. This guy's gonna die. Please don't kill this. All right. Wow. Young Dragonhawk. That's special. Okay. So let's just do the simple thing here. We're going to heal on up. Run on in. Dagger up. And I'm going to kill this just in case he does have, you know, freaking buffs for it and stuff. I think at this point we can be pretty safe knowing he doesn't have a secret. So I'm just going to play this as a 4 3 for 4 at some point. Still better than either of the other options I could have taken in the pack. I'm not going to be bothered by it. Glive, Zuka doesn't matter here. Unless he wants to kill the healer, which he does not. Okay. Oh, he's actually going to go for the face. That's aggressive. Not sure I really agree with that, because I might get to heal this thing if he lets me keep it around. All right, well, I am going to take the damage. I think we're early enough right now that it's worth it to uh, just take go down to 20. Um, yeah, we'll do this, and hit him in the face. 
the micro machine is going to get tamped down by the Glyvezuka, but I've got a lot of stuff here. I can assassinate to kill any big minion. He's down to 18. I've got 8 damage from these two big hitters. So he's got to have a pretty decent amount of removal here to hang in there. Okay, he's going to get plus 1 off with my loot hoarder, unfortunately, but I can still kill it off with my Yeti. Lots of tigers getting played. And the zombie child. Well, that helps me feel secure in my position. So let's see what I get before I make any commitments. Nothing special. Let's see. I can assassinate this. Hit him for 4, 6, 10, 11. Don't have very good burn with this deck without Eviscerate. And never seeing like any charge creatures except for the 1-4. I don't have very good burn potential, so I don't think I want to go Ballistic here. Yeah, let's just uh, keep it simple. I'm going to hit that. Run that in. See what my card is. Cold blood. Okay, that could be useful for some burnination of the countryside at some point. Hit him in the face. And let's see. If he kills this thing, got four, six, seven, eleven damage, one shy of killing him, so I'd need a little bit of help to be able to kill him off. I mean I'm threatening to kill him with the dagger, but I don't want him to play a taunt minion and I just lose. This guy's had a lot of taunt. He had the Exorcist, he had the King of Beasts, and he had the Nullifier, so he's actually had a, you know, above average amount of taunt. Alright, he has an explosive shot, so yay me putting my stealth creature in the middle like a champ. Is he going to panda that back, or is he going to give it a buff? Alright, he's going to reset the stealth and heal it, which is fine, but that's a bit greedy because he doesn't have enough mana to play it now. I think that was a mistake. It's in a little bit of a, you know, tight situation against a rogue and a creature. Really, you should have kept that out there, I think, so he could kill my stuff with it. So, do we put the cold blood on this guy just to get 4 damage on? Get him down to 4 health? Make him really sweat it? Uh, no, I'm going to leave it a surprise this situation he might not kill it and then I can surprise kill him next turn I've got the assassinate to trigger combos unless of course his only creature is stealth or something that would be kind of upsetting All right, so this is I believe his tiger yeah is he gonna give it taunt no he's gonna kill command to kill that off chomp Goes the weasel and steady shot All right, we have no way to trigger combo on this unless my top deck obliges me and it does. So let's play the ogre and think. Two, four, six, seven. I think it's worth it because I'm threatening lethal. He needs taunt or life gain to stop my dagger from killing him. And I don't think he's going to kill me with two cards. He's got five damage, so he needs to deal 14 damage with two cards. Probably not going to happen. Okay, finally, Goblin Auto Barbers win me some games. Finally. Is that another kill command? Looks like he's... No, he's copying that? Okay, weird. Um, well, he's still set to lose. Unless he throws down a sludge belcher? Nope, sludge belcher, he still loses. Okay, that's it. Good game. And we are out of time, folks. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and or subscribe. And I'll see you again soon. Take care, everybody.